Okay, this is the controller that's going to control the light. It's going to receive a signal from the your cell phone or tablet. It's going to use an app, and that's how you're going to control the light. You're going to have a QR code right here on these. This is something you can scan with your phone camera. You'll see if you have a problem with this particular uh, scanning this QR code on this same website you're looking at now, the same page. You can uh, continue to read everything on this page, which is what you need to do. Read everything on this page, then refer to the video. But you'll see another way of downloading the app through the App Store or the Google Play Store. The transformer right here, you're going to get a different transformer in some cases for two and three multiple lights. This video is about one light. Okay, we're going to, uh, we'll probably have discussed this about with you as a customer if you've got two or three other lights. This video is about one single light and the basic connections in which to get it done. 120 volt to 12 volt power supply. The input in this particular transformer, once, once again, you're going to make sure that you're going to, uh, read what is on this transformer on the input and the output. The output is going to go to controller. We'll show that in a second. In this particular case you got a red and a black. Red's positive, black negative. This input, this yellow with a green stripe is going to be your ground. The brown is going to be your neutral. This is 120 volts. Ground. Brown is going to be your hot. And blue is going to be your negative. So essentially the yellow, yellow ground, blue negative, or neutral, Brown is going to be your hot. On the output of the transformer, the 12-volt side, you have two wires on this controller. You'll have a black and a white. The black wire is going to connect to the red wire. The black wire on this controller is hot, 12 volts. The white wire on the controller is ground, so negative. It connects to the black wire off of this particular transformer. Say so. Red positive, it's going to go to black positive on a controller. So red to black in this case, black to white. 12 volts hot, white ground. Read your output. Okay, then the next simple thing to do here is your light is going to have a green, black, blue, and red. These are the output sides. You don't have to use both of these. You use one or the other, or you can use both if you've got two lights, or even three lights. These particular wires are paralleled, meaning they're connected together inside here. These extra wires are just for ease of install. So you're going to connect color to color here. Real simple, red, red to red, black to black, blue to blue, green to green. And that's it. If you don't use the other channel, or the other actually is not a channel, it's the same one single channel, you'll cap these off. Don't let them touch. Same thing with this. Exact same explanation. These are paralleled on the inside. These are a single channel, two wires for uh, two wires for uh, ease of install. If you don't use them, cap these off. So here to here to the lot. That's how that works. And you'll have your adapter plate. The adapter plate has a clip here. Your existing lot and your niche has a place where this clip goes in. And what you'll do is you'll stick this in the uh, bottom of the niche, the little clip area, fold it up, and run your screw through it right there. Screw go, your exit. You'll use your existing screw. Before you do that, and before you make the connections and run the wire, you're actually going to fish this wire through the uh, adapter plate. Get all this set up before, of course, you pull it because this is one solid continuous strand. Okay, this is how you connect to the controller. What you're going to do is in this particular case you're going to make sure that you have your Bluetooth turned on and that's all that's going to happen here. That little Bluetooth symbol, just make sure it's on. That's all we're doing on this particular case. Then you go to the app, which is that's the app right there, LED bleed, you'll hit it. In this particular case it's already connected. It says one in that top left hand corner. Turn the power off. Give it a quick pause. I'm not starting this video over. You got zero right there. That means you're not connected to anything. Okay. Turn the power on. It automatically next. See, it says one right there. This is the power button. There's, this light's not hooked up to anything. So when it turns red, that means the power's off. This is the power button. You hit that's power off. 
right there you hit that little gear in the top right hand corner you can see the operation guide hit that and you can watch that now this is going to be a different app or iphone this is an android but i mean a different appearance to the app but the most simple feature of it all is that you make sure your bluetooth is on there is no bluetooth this thing doesn't connect bluetooth as you would normally think like it would to a speaker okay this is just bluetooth low energy so to, long story make sure your bluetooth is turned on you're not waiting for something to magically connect and you have to turn this thing on and off uh, through the connection on the app so once it's connected you'll see the one in the corner there's your power button on and off then you can go through all the different features like i said these are going to be different on each phone but you can set your own features here hit custom make up your own you got a speed and uh, brightness you can dim it down and then you can do other things as well. If you want to download music to your phone, like an old school iPod or uh, like people used to use uh, MP3 players, you hook this to you hook your phone or your computer, you download some music, you can go back and connect Bluetooth to your to a music box, speaker box, your stereo. You'll connect it through there. You'll go back here and your app is going to find the music. You can hit play and then, uh, you'll hit play on this and it can play the music that's physically downloaded on your phone. You can't play music that's streamed. You can't play music like through Pandora or Spotify. It has to be physically downloaded on your phone like the old school MP3 or uh, iPads. So once again, one's connected, zero it's not. Hit your gear, open up your different features. And uh, you can go back to RGB, touch this color wheel. It's going to make all the different colors. Or click that and that's pretty much it.